Hello and welcome back to our next lecture. We will talking about uh, nearest snagboard algorithm. So without any further delay, let's start. Uh, let's assume is a scenario. Our data set contains data points for two categories, uh, which is denoted by different colors. In the case data set point uh, points corresponding to their categories, one is orange color and which is on the right side. And the second uh, uh, category is blue color, which is on the left side of the plot. Uh, so. Uh, so ju uh, just going to consider uh, to worry about it uh, is we don't know is variable x and y uh, which is actually re represented two columns of our data set so for instance there are many uh, they are may uh, age and salary in the example that we consider in the data set, data preprocessing section of the course uh, however, to make the things uh, extremely simple, we are going to uh, we are going to add my um, any skill to these variables. Now let's assume that we encounter a new data point. We are we were asked uh, in category based on the available information. So the key issue is uh, whether whether it should be fall in blue categories or in orange category. There is. Uh, category 1 and category 2 in the other words uh, how do we uh, decide or classify these data data points so this is uh, this is the time to which the nearest neighbor algorithm is the going to resolve for us at that point algorithm we will be able to determine the category of further <coughs> data point uh, in the in the case uh, turn out of the category 2 which is uh, show by the blue color okay so let's see how how can uh, how uh, Canon algorithm is going to uh, do that for us in order to understand the uh, an algorithm we are going to introduce for a step procedure. So you will notice there is very small simple algorithm. The the very first step is to choose the number of uh, neighbors that uh, you are going to <coughs> have in your algorithm. Uh, this means that uh, you need to identify whether k is equal to 1 to 3 or uh, some other numbers one of the most commonly used value for k is value of 5 step 2 <coughs> uh, step 2 is uh, is to the computer neighbors of the new data new data find uh, according to the some distance measure such as the euclidean euclidean uh, distance measure so, so you don't have to use Euclidean distance all the time you you can use other distance uh, matter such as uh, Manhattan or a city block or Hamming distance measure since is the most case of Euclidean distance is used so in this example we will uh, we just uh, stick to that so uh, once you have to compute uh, uh, okay, nearest neighbor. The the next step is to count the number of data lines from each category among the neighbor computing. Second step. So how uh, so how two neighbor appliances happen to be in category one, uh, and how many of these um, happen into the into categories? We need to determine that in this step, which uh, which is step uh, number three. If you have more than two categories in in the data set uh, then uh, you just simply need to count uh, how many neighbors that applies uh, happened in each of the category finally in the step uh, number four we will assign uh, the due date applied uh, to the category uh, with most neighbors so this is as uh, simple as that mm, and after after these four steps you are done and your model is ready to predict uh, any a new data point so let's do uh, uh, let's do a man will exercise uh, to the solidify uh, our knowledge and see that uh, and see uh, they can and uh, they can and algorithms in action uh, remember uh, remember the key issue you you uh, yes we need to classify the uh, new data apply based on the available appliance in the two categories so let's start for step process uh, uh, of the algorithm uh, into is to choose the number of uh, neighbors uh, so we we keep it five the next uh, the next step which is uh, which is step number two is to determine the, determine the five neighbors of this new data point according to some distance measure uh, point out as earlier we use uh, Euclidean distance uh, 
and uh, we also talk about the Euclidean distance is the data preprocessing section uh, so Euclidean distance is a basic method uh, which we are uh, studying in which we are studying in the uh, geometry and uh, uh, so, uh, so basically if we have two points uh, such as P1 and P2 uh, in this case the Euclidean distance between those two points is measured according to the formula which is uh, which means that we uh, we need to determine determine the difference of uh, x coordinate values of two points and the and difference of y coordinates and values uh, then taking square root of, um, of the uh, difference and uh, take sum and finally under root so that's come to our example of uh, of the uh, algorithm uh, we were in the step of uh, kernel algorithm which uh, where we need to determine the neighbor based or locally um, locally uh, the di distance uh, so basically we just look at uh, them and we, just, we see the distance here we uh, we can see that this is the closest one we were uh, if we were give the actual value of these lines then we could easily verify the they are five nearest uh, neighbors. Step three is to count the number of data points for each categories. Uh, so in this case, we see that uh, uh, from the neighbors we, uh, which are data points inside the circle of two, uh, to the uh, two belongs to categories one and uh, three belongs to category two. Finally, uh, finally, step four is to assign the data points uh, to the category which most neighbors, which is in this case, happen to the. Uh, to be category 2 so that was simple as that and uh, now we have to classify our data appliance and uh, we have already the model of uh, uh, to classify and any further uh, data points so uh, in the conclusion it's one of the oldest algorithm in machine learning and uh, one of the simplest one is two so i believe that uh, enough to get uh, you started with the uh, knn algorithm so now uh, we in, in, uh, now we will apply these uh, this uh, algorithm in our uh, matlab our first machine learning model of knr is an keyboard and i can't wait to show you the first result to show how they can uh, manage chapter data of uh, some categories and predict the categories into unseen data line so let's start to make the model right now the first thing we need to do a local load the data set and the data set we will be using is related to the social network so you can see on the screen uh, the data set contain information of user in social network then the information include the user ids gender age estimation uh, salary and the social uh, social network has several business client uh, which can put their uh, uh, which can put their uh, uh, data on social network and uh, the client is a car company who has launched their brand so uh, we we are trying to see which of the user of social network are going to buy this brand new uh, SUV okay so last column of uh, so here the last column tells us if a certain user of social uh, network has bought a SUV or uh, he has not bought the SUV so even uh, when the building is model is going to predict if user is going to buy the uh, SUV or not uh, uh, on the variable given on the table uh, so there are uh, 400 instance uh, in the particular data set uh, and uh, let's load the data set into the MATLAB okay uh, we will we will uh, need to pre-process a template and if uh, you build in the last section of the course we will just copy the template and paste it over here in order to load the data set so um, we so we will ignore this and we will take a right of the variable we will build uh, build up our model and you will see that this is a very uh, easy in MATLAB. In fact, we uh, we will see no, uh, not by writing an extra statement or code for this in MATLAB. Uh, this is uh, uh, so so. The question is now: uh, Do we need to apply any preprocess technique that we learned in earlier section of preprocessing? Uh, the answer is uh, uh, yes. We are going to apply process uh, apply the uh, standardization uh, technique to pre-process our data uh, so as you know that uh, we will uh, use Euclidean distance for uh, standardization
so we will meet some a few functions in MATLAB so let's see how can we uh, do this in MATLAB so the function we need to use in order to build the uh, classification model is a fate C and we need to best uh, to add the variable which contain that data uh, and as a second input the function expect the variable name which will we will use as a response variable name or in other words variable name for which we will make a prediction so in this case uh, the uh, the warning table in the purchase variable uh, remember that point uh, point out uh, point out in the last lecture and uh, we will building our model based on two and uh, where two years uh, of age estimation salary and i told you that there is a going to be a very simple uh, very simple in matlab so in order to specify that we need to write a uh, a variable names that we use for our building our model we also need to insert the place between individual variable name and uh, uh, rows and our model is ready to uh, use we need to store this model in some variables so we use the variable name of classification underscore model in this case uh, this will mean that classification underscore model which contain our keys uh, in very class in, a, uh, in any classification model so now we are uh, all done we have both classification model and that model is stored uh, in the variable okay Okay, uh, please uh, please note that uh, if we don't mention anything here then uh, if we delete the variable name of age or if we will salary then the default MATLAB is going to build the model based on all on our label uh, within our data another very important part uh, that uh, the model uh, model we build which is stored in the variable classification underscore model is built with some default options and we can change some, uh, we can check some of its properties by being in command uh, windows for instance And please note that there is a sum of all the four values happen to be a total number of prediction uh, so classifiers didn't respond uh, reasonable well in this case so we did uh, successfully implement our first machine learning model and uh, tested its performance on the testing data and surprisingly we did this by using only five lines of code that we that you some indicate the strength of MATLAB and data analysis that uh, is very uh, that is with very a uh, few lines of code uh, so enjoy machine learning first algorithm so now let's have a look at the results again we will be uh, looking at them and meeting the values later that will always be a part of the course but I uh, know we are just know that these variable correspond to the correct predictions and these two diagonals values correspond to the incorrect predictions.